Hey guys, it's D Money Bala back again with this Acer Aspire TC885. It's still my daily driver. It's still doing everything I ask of it, except for some video editing. So I figured, what can I do to solve my problem? I got myself a GTX 1660 Super graphics card, and that's going to help me with video editing and gaming. But I noticed that I needed a more powerful power supply to run that. So I got myself a 500 watt power supply. Today, we're going to be installing them in this Acer Aspire. The first step we're going to want to do is remove the screws holding this side panel on. So I'm just going to come here, remove this bad boy, and this guy. With those screws out, you should just be able to pull on this tab here. Your side panel will come off and you've got access to the inside of the machine and that's what we're going to be working with. So now we're going to remove these cables from your hard drive. You just pull on those, they'll pop right out and then your cables should be disconnected so you're free to remove your hard drive plate. I've got some screws in holding mine down so I just unscrew these. Um, and screw this guy over here and then you just pull and slide out you've got your hard drive bay removed um, we're going to remove the CD drive because we're gonna have to remove the power supply so we're gonna remove this CD drive um, so you're gonna unplug both of these uh, cables that are plugged in you just pull back on them they'll come out uh, you can push in on this plastic piece and then you can pull out your CD drive and then we're gonna have to unscrew this okay, so we have to take the face plate off so we just unclip each of these little clips and your face plate should come right off and then that's going to give us access to the front. We're going to remove these three screws and pull the CD drive right out. So, here we go. Oh man, that's tighter than I thought it was. Out. We're going for this guy. And we go for this guy. And we should just be able to pull on this tab and have your CD drive come out. Place that over there. Then we're going to tip it back over. And we're going to start unplugging the old power supply. Um, because this thing's got to come out. So you're going to unplug this big connector here. Yeah, you just wiggle it back and forth. You make sure you to pull back on that tab. It'll release. We're going to unplug this four pin connector right here. Get that guy. And then we want to make sure we get everything here. Be real thorough. We're going to unplug this guy. This little guy. Boop. And we should probably unplug this guy. Never mind. That guy stays. That guy definitely stays. All right, so to get this undone, you just uh, pull those apart, and these wires should come right on out. And there your wires should be ready to go out with your power supply. Then we're just gonna remove the screws that are holding it on here, these corner screws and it should come right on out, this power supply, so we can replace it with the newer one. We got this guy, don't want to lose any screws. And then we got the last one. So there's a pull tab right here underneath these wires. Uh, you just push that tab in, 
and you should be able to push your power supply out and then you just gotta you just gotta come over here pull it out you got your power supply all done so now we're gonna replace that one with the new one so we're gonna put this all the way down here well first let's uncable these guys unbraid them Then you got a lot more cords with this guy. So we're gonna drop her in. Hope that she fits. Yeah, this is the tricky part. Getting her in. All right, and then you just, there she's in. We can put the screws back in to secure power supply and mine even came with some screws to secure it so I'm going to use the new screws because I have that option you know so this guy I think that I think this corner goes over the case so I'm going to put that in when I put the case on it Just start it with your fingers if you're having trouble. And that should be fun. This guy should go down here. And this guy will go right here. We've got our new power supply in. So we've got all of our cables up here bunched up. We're gonna take one of these four pin connectors, plug it in up here. Um, and now that's got power. And we're just gonna to try to make sure that stays out of the way of everything else by tucking it in, you know, nice and tuck it in so it's nice and comfortable. Um, at this point, we're gonna put our graphics card into the graphics slot um, on the back here there are these um, these boxes. Your gra graphics card's gonna have like an HDMI port or something. You, you punch through these. These are really flimsy. You like bend it back and forth and they'll pop right off. So you need to pop it off before you put your graphics card in. You open this gate to let your graphics card in. Take your graphics card. You line up these chips with the holes down here and make sure that your ports are going out that hole back there. Um, you line it up and you make sure that it fits in and you push it in when you've got it correct. That one second. Just finagling some more. And then there we go. And it clicks in. Once you've got that in, you should screw it on. Um, so we're going to close this gate and make sure that uh, we put a screw through here to make sure that the graphics card doesn't move around too much. Um, so I'm just going to screw this on nice and tight. I changed screwdrivers because this one can get closer to it so that it'll be nice and flush so you don't have the screw going in at an angle. Um, and that keeps that more secure so the graphics card's not really going to go anywhere because you've got it screwed down. Okay, so you clip this guy together because he's a 24 pin connector. We plug him in like this. He clicks in. We're going to take these CPU connectors. We're going to connect those in over here. Clip. And we've pulled these guys out to the side right now while we're figuring everything out. Uh, these are your GPU connectors. We're going to clip these guys together. So we're going to take this guy, plug him into our power supply. Shove this little guy down into his corner, the excess. And then make sure that this guy's nice and tight in there. It's going to be nice and cozy. Um, then... I think the next step we should do is put the CD drive back in. 
It's going to fit into the front of your CP, your computer. You want to tuck in this cable so it doesn't uh, jump into your RAM. Now with those out of the way, we're going to put our um, hard drive back in. Um, so these guys are going to have to come back into the case. And we're going to figure out what to do with those guys later. So we're just going to put those right here for now. I'm going to take this, slide it in. And then you lock her down with some screws. So we're going to screw your hard drives back in. I'm going to get this guy down. Then you're going to want to get your data cable, plug it in to right here. Then we're going to get one of these power connectors and plug that in to your hard drive as well. And that's going to go right there if I can get it. And I can. So that clips in there. You've got power to your hard drive again. That's good. So I'm just going to bunch up the extra cable here, tuck it into the case right between the CPU fan and the GPU, just because it fits kind of nice in there, because it plays nice with everything. And then we're going to um, put our front back on. So we took the CD drive out because it was messing with our cords and we hardly ever use the CD drive. So we're just gonna go without it and let's uh, continue putting it away. So we're gonna take this cable that was hanging out, fold it up and put it in that corner right up here and uh, make sure that it fits nice and happy in there with all the other cables never to be seen again. So this guy, you're going to take these three edges, hook them into these three holes, and then swing it around. You got to clip it a little tight. So you just got to make sure that it goes in. You start clipping the top, middle, bottom. You've got your front panel back on. So you take your CD drive, place it back in here, click it all the way in. Then we're going to go back up to the top again. So the last thing is, is to just put your side panel back on, make sure that it fits nice and snug, and screw it in in the back. And screw this guy down. And this guy and the other guy. Finally, this guy. Now, the Acer Aspire has a brand new power supply and a great 1660 Super graphics card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We would really appreciate it. Thank you.